Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. This is going to be a very short tutorial where I just want to talk about generating the pages for your Hexo site. You'll notice over here in my folder, I have a bunch of different posts and I also have two pages, D and E. In addition to that, I have my own custom theme that I made, which is this GA theme. So once I'm done creating my theme and I'm created all the files that I want to create, how can I actually like take all that information and build it into a website? You can use the hexo, oops, hexo server command and that kind of does what we want to do, right? Whenever you run hexo server, you're able to see your finished website hosted on a web server. But how can you do that without having to use the hexo server command. In other words, if you're at a point where you wanna upload your hexo files to a web server to be hosted online, you wanna be able to generate all of those files into a folder so that you can just put them into your FTP program and upload them to the internet. The way that we can do that is with a command called hexo generate. And when I click enter, what's gonna happen is hexo is gonna take all the posts and all the pages and all the layouts and templates on our website and it's gonna combine them together into the finished site. So I'll click enter, Hexo will do a bunch of stuff and if we come over here, we'll see that this new folder got created and it's called public. Inside this public folder is the source code for our website. So it's all of the static files that we need to run our website. In here, we, you'll notice we have this 2017 folder with all of the blog posts inside of it. We also have this D and this E page. And now instead of being markdown files, they've been transformed into HTML files. We have this archives folder and we have the homepage of our website. So obviously I created a very simple website, but if you have a lot more pages and resources on your site, this public folder is gonna be a lot more complex and a lot bigger. But really the main takeaway is that this, these are all the files that you need to host your site. So if you dropped these files onto a web server, then this would display your Hexo site, just like it displays when you run that Hexo server. Also, one more thing to note is that obviously the files are organized and arranged differently inside this public folder than they are inside this source folder. And that's just because of the way that the source files get mapped. So the public folder doesn't care if something's a post or if it's a page, it just cares what directory it's in, right? To the public folder, everything is just an HTML file. So that's how you can generate your pages. And if you wanted to host your site now, all you'd have to do would, would be just copy all of this stuff. And like I said, put it on your web server and it would start working. So that's just been a very short tutorial on how to use that hexo generate command. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.